All right, guys. Uh, this is a renovation. Um, just a way to start. Um, I'm just going to run you through the jobs that I have to do in here. It's a fairly low budget renovation um, for a prospective landlord um, who's just moved out, moved in with a partner, and they're going to be renting a property out. But there's quite a lot of small jobs that, that need done. I obviously quoted this before and advised them on what they should do, you know, just to get ready for the rental market. So, first things first is. Uh, So, I'll have to check the power to the, the doorbell, there's the ringer up there, uh, we'll get that sorted. Uh, this is just a vegetable area, as soon as you come in. So it's it's not too bad, it's, it's alright, so this will all be getting painted magnolia, C1 will be white. Just keep it neutral. Some, somebody said I'd go at filling holes before, but we'll get those filled professionally and get it painted properly. Okay, we're on to the kitchen now, kitchen area. Let's give you a quick overview. It's not too bad for the rental market at the moment, but there, are, there is a few jobs we're going to be doing in here. So first of all, be this hideous kitchen light will be coming down. We'll be getting replaced with a chrome light. This uh, batten light will be coming down and we'll probably put an LED in there. Uh, the kitchen will be fully painted. We'll just keep it uh, white, keep it neutral and clean. Uh, this extractor hood here will be getting changed, swapped out for a silver one. Uh, the cooker's coming out, there'll be a new cooker going in there, which will be silver again. All these, uh, the unit, the handles on the units will be getting swapped out and changed. <coughs> just gives us a more of a shiny silver sort of look. Yeah, new silicon seal all along the worktops. It's not too bad at the moment, but if we got a nice crisp white seal, yeah, it'll make it look better. Yeah, there's just been a new boiler installed here. But usual story, uh, where the pipes and the flue go out the wall, it's just left a you know a hideous mess up there. So we're probably going to do some sort of boxing in here and just paint it so it ties in with the seal in the walls. Job in here is this extractor fan is actually coming out and this wall will be getting flushed off. So we'll take the fan out, uh, trace the, the power back to the, the power source and rip all that out and get this all isolated and sealed off. This gives it a neater look, I think. Uh, excuse these dishes, <laughs> the owner's in the process of moving out at the moment. Uh, but this kitchen sink will be coming out. Uh, this will be getting replaced for stainless steel. Same for the mixer tap. Um, that will come out and we'll get a new tap in there. All the flooring is getting ripped up and we're going to lay um, quick step vinyl click flooring. That's a favourite flooring of mine. It's expensive, but it's uh, you know it's guaranteed for 20 years. So. It's, I, I put in a lot of rental properties and my own properties. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's available from Howden's. So that'll go down there. Yeah, that's actually a light sort of grey oak. Yeah, and that'll go down there. So, so the light grey with the black and the, the silver you know, handles, cooker, extractor. Um, that should all tie in well and just make the space nice and clean. I think that about sums it up for the kitchen. Uh, as I said, it'll all be painted. And, um, I usually use Dulux, uh, you know, easy care bathroom and kitchen paint. It's, got a, it's a washable, wipeable paint, you know, for stains and stuff. Uh, obviously all the woodwork will be done with satin wood. Whole place cleaned, windows cleaned, and that'll be the kitchen done. Guys, this is the outside. I'm sort of talking about the. We'll just jet wash all this. All this path will all come up quite nice. Um, let's 
Look at all this jet washed. All these weeds, we'll get the weed colour and all these. Outside light, we're going to be replacing, and we'll put a new LED on there. And I don't know if you can see up there, but the guttering is totally full of uh, weeds. So, when you get all that cleared out, um, that'll be pretty much outside done. Just a general tidy up, to be honest. Okay, a lounge area. It's actually not too bad. Um, these hideous lights and the hideous artex and the ceiling, it's not my taste, but for rental pop, uh, purposes it's fine. So again, this will all be just a, a magnolia, which is just a neutral colour, uh, with white ceiling. Uh, all the, the woodwork's a bit grubby, so that'll all get painted with Dulux satin wood, brighten it all up. Obviously, tidy it out and then that'll be it, the lounge will be done really. There's a stair gate we have to remove, just the old bracket from the stair gate there, from the stairs. There's another one at the top of the stairs. This is obviously all getting decorated as well. It has to be said, the whole property is getting decorated. So it'll be magnolia throughout with white ceilings and white woodwork. Yeah, here's the stair gate at the top of the stairs. Just a simple case of removing that. Um, this is just the top hallway area. This is being decorated. Yeah, this is a two bedroom property, so it's basically a kitchen, a lounge, a bathroom upstairs with two bedrooms. A fairly small house, you know, but it's perfect for rental purposes. This is the first bedroom. Uh, she said, I think this curtain pole needs secured. I think it's. I haven't actually looked, but. Um, yeah, it's just. Get that tightened up. Um, again, this will be fully decorated. Magnolia walls, white ceiling. We have a mirrored wardrobe here, which is totally shot, totally smashed. The frames all knackered. So um, we'll be. Taking these doors out and replacing them for new, might need new tracks as well. Uh, we'll see, I'll just take some measurements today. That's the purpose, that's the reason I'm here today. I've just got a little bit of spare time, so I'm in here just taking some measurements. Things like this, and then get them all ordered tonight. Okay, so that's bedroom one. Bedroom two is through here. As I said, the owner, this will all be cleared out, she's just in the process of getting things moved out. But this is bedroom two again, fully decorated. It's got a small room, so the walls are already magnolia and the ceiling's white, but we'll just freshen that up. And, <coughs> and behind this wall is a bath, and they actually had a leak um, at some point last year, so I don't know if you can see the scratch board's all rotten down there, uh, water damage, so I'm just going to pop that off today. We'll get this trim popped off, and I'll take it into. Um, the the joinery uh, warehouse and, and get it matched up. Uh, and we'll just just a direct replacement. We'll get that replaced. I'll have a look at the floor under there just to make sure it's not damaged. But I don't think it is. I think it's just superficial water damage here. Uh, so that's one job. Get the skirting replaced. Decorate the whole room. And that'll be this room complete. Next room probably the most work. Uh, as in here and the kitchen, obviously. So this is the bathroom. So first job will be this hideous uh, shower curtain will be coming down. Uh, we're going to put a glass shower screen in there. Uh, the owner had this toilet replaced last year, so it's white and the bathroom's sweet. The bath and the sink are cream, so the bath's coming out, the basin's coming out, and we're going to change these for white just to match the toilet. Um, so we'll just get a pretty much like for like, uh, new bath, new bath panels, new taps and waste, uh, same here, new basin, new taps, 
that'll be the main body of the bathroom done. Um, obviously this light is coming out, this extractor fan is getting swapped out, so we'll take that out, clean the, the vents, just make sure everything's clear, get a new extractor in there. Um, there's obviously a good bit of decorating to be done around here, so the full bathroom we're getting decorated with <coughs> bathroom paint, which is just white. Um, what else? This bathroom unit will be coming out. This will be coming off. We've got uh, just a nice clear white uh, or mirrored unit, similar size. Uh, the tiles are hideous. So a cheap fix I do quite a lot. Um, I, I paint tiles, uh, especially on rental properties. So I've got a white satin paint. It's Rust Lem All Surface. Or Rust. I don't know how you pr pronounce it. I'll show you the tin when I'm doing it. Uh, but basically, we give these a good clean with sugar soap. Re grout the tiles uh, and give them a good three or four coats of this, this tile paint. Well, it's not actually a tile paint, it's an all surface paint, but it's really good. I've used it for a good few years now. Um, it just gives the bathroom a new look. Same here, all these tiles here will be painted uh, satin white. Obviously you can see a lot of the grout is shot in these tiles. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if that's focusing. Um, so we'll re-grout the tiles. We'll just dig out all the surface grout, re-grout it and then paint it with the tile paint. Now let's give it a nice sleek white look. Obviously reseal the bath. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> you see this a lot in properties. The sealant, the silicon sealant is just terrible. Um, so we've got a nice neat seal. Uh, not like that either. <laughs> uh, as I said, glass shower screen. And that should be it. Good to go. Oh, apologies there. There's a new towel rail going over here. It's basically just a rail that hangs. You can hang towels over the radiator. And a, a new toilet roll holder. Somewhere there. And again, lastly in here, the flooring is all going to be um, quick step. Vinyl quick flooring. 100% waterproof and guaranteed for 20 years. So. That'll be going down here, that's one of the last jobs um, within the bathroom. But it'll all look nice when it's done. Um, I'll maybe uh, link a picture in this video coming next, uh, just of similar, similar type bathrooms I've done, just to show you what this will all look like in the end. I mean, it's not going to be spectacular because the budget's not, not huge, you know, so but it'll make a big difference. Okay. Right guys, I'm just in the process of going through while I'm here. I've given myself a couple of hours and I just go through this list that I made out last night. Um, just of what I'm going to do. So I've got a look at the cooker, I'm going to measure the bath, measure the basin, measure the bathroom cabinet, measure kitchen floor, bathroom floor. Um, I do have a sink in the back of my van I'm going to try in the kitchen just to make sure it fits. Measure wardrobe doors, fix the curtain pole, remove the curtain board from the bedroom so I can match it from the joinery company. Uh, remove the extractor in the bathroom and isolate it. Remove the kitchen extractor and isolate it. I need to suss out the kitchen cupboards. There's a few broken doors, broken shelves within the, the, the cupboards, so I need to sort that out. And remove kitchen handles, fit new handles, so basically I've taken them out at the moment. Um, I'm in the process of removing this hideous extractor hood, which involves just taking the filter down, which is clarted in <laughs> grease, it's horrible. And there's basically four locating screws up here. Um, so get that out, just make sure the, the new one that I've bought fits. Uh, be I'm basically looking for problems, anything that I think is going to cause a big problem going forward. Uh, 
Okay, here's one of the first jobs completed. <coughs> we just removed the extract out from the, the cooker here. Yeah, just a straightforward uh, connection up there. Um, four screws under here and cut the silicon along here. Uh, there it is. It's ready for the skip. Uh, we've got a nice new silver one we can go and fit, which will hopefully be straightforward. So that'll be the first job. Uh, grab our tape measure and start measuring up. Got the pad, got the tape measure, we'll get everything measured and we'll see you in the next video. If you yeah, if you like, if you like these types of videos, um, you know, just looking at renovations or anything that I'm doing, um, please subscribe to the channel, it's would be much appreciated. And give this one a like, a thumbs up and click on the bell, you know, that'll notify you when there's when I upload other videos. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and thanks to my current subscribers. Uh, I am starting to grow a little bit, so it's much appreciated. Thank you. Cheers.